Hi, I've been instructed um, by the people at my stables. Well, I don't know. Just sort of spraying across that I sort of had to make um, a live story. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, I think they just briefed me. I'll just talk from how you were born to how you got to Muddy Hill. So, um, uh, this is my go. Sorry if I stop a lot. Um, I'm really not sure how this was going to go. But I was born at Canal Strapper Farm. There must have been at least 80 of us. And I was born and sold within a year. So... I didn't, I loved my mum, but I didn't really get, like, that close to her. And then, where I got sold to, it was a lovely place. It was a man, um, called George, and his granddaughter, um, Maddie. They were lovely to me. I had a nice big pasture, and a stable, well, nice warm stable, warm mashes every day. Oh, it was lovely. And my, um, friend there was Champagne. Um, I think she's doing one too. I think every horse, just for, like, this new series. Apparently they're just going to stick cameras around the stable and um, film us. That'll be nice. Um, then there was this big storm one night and they hadn't like... Um, well, we were in our stable but we didn't want to be and none of them came down. And we were like looking and looking for them but we couldn't see so we just both spooked and ran um, like crazy um, until we um, the storm calmed. And we ended up in this field, and um, we were roaming and roaming, then came to an opening, followed a path, and um, there was this like, old, lovely, country, stable type stuff. It was really old, but it was really nice, and that's where me and Champagne stayed. Um, later that day, I think, this um, woman came along, riding a horse. Um, her name was Annie, and she's lovely. I still love her to this day. Um, I'll tell you more about her in a minute, but... Um, she gave us food. I don't know why, because she she didn't even own the stables. Um, she um, made champagne a nice big stable because she was heavily pregnant. And um, we were let out to roam, so we r went back to the place um, in the field where we first saw the path. And so there's this big like statue, and um, behind that, well, to the side of the statue was this horse um, caught in thickets. So we went across, I'm sure she was trying to escape from the storm too, but um, her name's Rosie and she now is here at Muddy Hill. Um, so then Annie kindly made a third stable and it was a lovely few days. Um, then about four weeks later, Annie brought this big elaborate stable. We didn't really use it, um, we stayed to our old little rickety one, but when we went out, to pasture and look around and stuff, we found um, in the rain uh, my future mate Salt and Quinn, um, and that was really nice. And then later that day, it's all happening very quick for me. Um, um, what happened? Oh yeah, Juliana came and um, said, "Oh, I'm a critic. Let me ride your horses." I just tried out first, but then she didn't really like actually ride me. She liked Quinn. Um, but we later all found out that she was actually an, an owner of this really nice stable who stables who all the horses special um speciated whatever um in dressage um then about a week later after that i am going quickly but i'm just thinking of things now um we got told that juliana stable was going to shut down and um three of the horses got moved um to um, the place we were, but we got David where we were, and then we got Joanna and Henry here, I think. Must have been. So, and apparently there is more on the way. I think the quarter horse is, and the Lipizzanas, and the, um, the Satana, or whatever you say. I think he is, but he was just like a one-off. He, um, I know it's very bad, but... He, when Juliana brought um, the Lipizzan Stallion about six years ago, he came with it. They're like, right, we're going to do this, don't say anything. So it was weird. He doesn't do anything, he just sort of runs wild. Um, yeah, and then I moved into Muddy Hill, and it was only six stalls, including Salt, Champagne, who has now had her full brandy. She had her full before. Um, we moved here, 
I forgot to write that in. That was somewhere between, I think it was when Rosie had stayed for four days. And we then we had me, um, no, Salt, Champagne, Joanna, me, Rosie, Quim. And then we've, and then Henry was in the feed room, one of the feed room bits, I think. And we got a whole new bit added, which now consists of, um, Tim, David, and Henry, and um, which is now the full stop. And then little Marie is in the stall by the feed room. Um, there's actually meant to be two stalls there, but it turned into a hay thing. I doubt I'm meant to be actually saying this because, like, I've just like hogged the limelight for champagne. Well, she's got a different story, but she'll probably just say this twice. Um, yeah, that's basically my story. Um, yeah. Um, how can I end this? Thank you.